Oh, how do you do? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Wolf. Alexander Graham Wolf. I am an inefficiency expert. Licensed to kill inefficiency whenever and wherever I find it. And my next client, although he doesn't know it yet, will be good old Santa Claus. Yes, good old Santa Claus himself. Why? Because good old Santa runs the most inefficient, old-fashioned, outdated factory in the whole world. So he's just going to have to shape up, put Christmas on a paying basis for good old Santa and his new partner, namely, myself. And just what is group stick, you may ask? Oh, just the greatest invention since the wheel. Well, I mustn't dally. If everyone in the world is to have a glue stick covered present this Christmas, I must be off and away. Glue stick? Efficiency? Santa shape up? Why, that dirty dog of a wolf. Old fashioned indeed. Why, he's just a wolf in wolf's clothing. But what if he means shape up? Why, that dirty dog of a wolf. Old fashioned indeed. Why, he's just a wolf in wolf's clothing. But what if he means it? What if he does take over Santa's workshop? What if he does really ruin Christmas for everyone? Whatever. Oh, I've got to have help. I can't let him wreck Christmas. But who can I get to help? I mean, if, if I'm going to have to carry somebody back to the North Pole, it's, it's got to be a somebody who is very, very light and, and can't freeze. Hmm, do I know any somebodies who are very, very light but can't freeze? Why, of course! How stupid of me! Raggedy Ann and Andy! Comet, Santa's number five reindeer. And she looks horribly worried about something. Come on, come on, there's not a second to lose. But Comet, what's the matter? What's the matter? We've got to save Santa Claus, and we need all the help that we can get. Santa Claus? Save Santa Claus? Yes, yes. I just hope we're not too late. I'm, I'm sorry I can't fly any higher or faster. I guess I'm basically just a one-passenger reindeer. But I didn't know reindeers could fly. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know ragdolls could talk. They can't. Not when people are around. And reindeers can't fly. Not when people are around, anyway. That's why reindeers can't deliver presents on Christmas Eve until everybody's asleep so nobody will see them. And everybody lives so far from our workshop. Well done. 
Coco and Nap Break. Everyone home for another year. Thank you. Thank you on behalf of all children everywhere. And now for a little shut-eye for me, too. <laughs> oh, a long, long night of work ahead. <sighs> oh, well. It's only once a year, and probably a worthy cause, too. How tranquil, how susceptible. <laughs> how delighted and surprised everyone will be when they wake up. They'll be so pleased to find every present sealed in group stick. And now, the moment we have all been waiting for. The world's first gloop stick coated Christmas. we're going to say Christmas from? Oh, I'm sorry. Why, from Big Bad Wolf, of course. Big Bad Wolf? You mean the Big Bad Wolf? I thought he was all, you know, washed up after that Red Riding Hood and Three Little Pigs business. He's really out to wreck Christmas. He's even going to charge kids money for their presents. He wouldn't dare. Oh, he's there, all right. Look. Alexander G. Wolf and S. Cross? Gloopstick Factory? Gloopstick? What the heck's Gloopstick? Well, whatever it is, we better do something about it right now. Comet, don't you think you'd better keep watch up here in case? Well, just in case we need more help. More help? Who's going to need more help? Come on, Anne. Let's go get him. Don't worry, Comet. We'll do the best ever we can. Oh, Raggedy Ann and Andy, please don't let him ruin Christmas. Don't you worry, Comet. We'll save Christmas. can't do that. He really needs the rest. No, we've got to do this ourselves. You're absolutely right. Wow, look at that machine. What do you suppose it is? I, I don't know. But it looks awful. It... Well, well. <laughs> 
a delightful surprise, if it isn't Raggedy Ann. Mr. Big Bad, what are you doing here? And Raggedy Andy, too. How splendid. Well, we're pretty upset about uh, whatever you're trying to do here. Of course you are, because you don't know what I'm doing. Come along, my dears. I want you to be the first ones to see the great things I'm doing for all children everywhere. Here it is, my ragged little muffins. The greatest invention in history. Well, whatever it is, it looks awful. Just awful. Zowie! What a machine! What is it? What is it? The Great Gloopsticizer. The Great Gloop? What's it for? What's it for, indeed? Tell me, me darling Raggedy Ann. Tell me what happens to Christmas toys. After Christmas, that is. Why, uh... Why... Give or take a few months. Why, I guess toys wear out, I guess. Well, your little sister breaks them. Little brothers break toys, too. Ah, but no more. Behold, the modern miracle, gloopsticity. Little brother proof, little sister proof. Gloop stick, guaranteed. Not for just a month after Christmas, not for just a year after Christmas, but forever after Christmas. Really? Hey, that sounds great. Yes, really. Name me a toy, any toy. Something you would really like, Annie. Uh, um, gee, I, um, I don't know. It all seems so unchristmassy. Oh, come on, Ann. Give him a chance. Well, well, then I guess I always did want a beautiful china doll. From France, maybe. One beautiful china doll from France. Coming up. Voila! Behold, the perfect gift, unbreakable forever. Oh, but that's dreadful. What good is a doll if you, if you can't touch it, or cuddle it, or love it? Oh, Anne, don't be picky. That's the best doll I've ever seen. And who wants to cuddle a crazy doll anyway? Precisely, my lad. We see eye to eye. Why don't you make a selection? Really? Anything I want? Be my guest. Let's see. I want a Howard Pyle book of pirates, electric earth mover, a 40-speed bike, uh, and a regulation soccer ball, and my very own Christmas tree, of course. There you are, my boy. Everything you asked for. But, 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 but what good are toys and stuff if, if you can't touch them? Or use them. And anyway, I don't understand why you slap lipstick all over the toys. The answer is simple and quite practical. Since I hold all worldwide patents on Gloopstick, and since all of Santy's toys are now encased in Gloopstick, from now on, children will have to buy their presents, thereby learning a valuable moral lesson while acquiring a gift guaranteed forever unbreakable. And I shall become rich in the process. Am I not thoughtful? Thoughtful? You're terrible! That's what! Just terrible! Make children pay for these... these awful... <laughs> loop sticky blech things? Why, it's Raggedy Arthur. <laughs> what a splendid toy for someone. <laughs> Noble creature. Arthur, Arthur! Well, what happened? You will note that Arthur can breathe nicely. But, but he's stuck in there forever! You better get him out of there if you know what's good for you. Better yet, why don't you join him?
what a charming gift for some lucky child. Gloopsticized Raggedy Andy. You let go of him, you, you, you horrible, awful thing, you. How could I resist such a charming entreaty? Oh, Andy. And now, my dear, your turn. Come, some little girl somewhere is eating her heart out for a gloopsticized Raggedy Ann doll. <coughs> now, my dear, we don't want to disappoint that poor child at Christmas time, do we? Oh, come now, let's be grown up about this thing. Very selfish, you know. Raggedy Ann, I'm becoming very impatient with you. It's the first big bad Christmas tree I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, stop! Oh, Andy, please! Oh, please, stop! I've never had any practice being a <laughs> Christmas tree. <laughs> I, I don't know how to be a, a Christmas tree. And now I'll, I'll be a Christmas tree forever. Gloopsticks are unbreakable. Unbreakable? Andy, gloopsticks unbreakable. Arthur. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. We love you anyway. We do. We do. It won't make any difference. You're the best dog in the whole world. We, we really, really love, love you, Arthur. Arthur. You're cured. Andy, that's what did it. It did it. Gloopstick can't stand up against it. It did it? What it did it? It. Love. It's love that broke the Gloopstick. <laughs> but, but, but what about me? Nobody loves me. I'll never get out. I gotta be a Christmas tree all my life. I'm a, I'm a big bad wolf by trade. I, I don't know anything else. Well, you're a big wolf, all right. But you don't have to be a big bad wolf, you know. You can be a big good wolf. <laughs> but I don't know how to be a big good wolf. I hate being bad, but it's the only way I know of to, to make a living. Look, Andy, I think he really needs it. Maybe he hasn't had much opportunity to be good. Well, maybe. The wolves don't very often change their spots, do they? But I have changed my spots. But how can you be good when you're stuck in gloop sticks? Andy, I've got an idea. Do you remember what Peter Pan did when Tinkerbell was so sick? Yeah, I remember. He asked all the people out there to help Tinkerbell get well. Right. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, everybody out there, on your toes. We really need your help. Everybody out there watching, do you want all your presents sealed in gloop stick? Of course you don't. So, all together now. One, two, three. No! 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 Great. Do you really love Christmas the way it always has been? All together again. One, two, three. Theory. Yeah! 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 Fantastic.
mistake. You did it. You people out there, you did it. You busted the glue stick. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everyone out there. It doesn't matter about me now. Just as long as all the presents are, are out of that awful gloop stick. Now look, everybody. This is the tough one. Do you really believe that a big bad wolf can be a big good wolf? Yeah! Yeah! Thank you, thank you. This is the first time I've ever been liked, much less loved. What's that? It's Santa's alarm clock. We've got to get away from here. He mustn't know that anything's happened. Well, what about that thing? That's a pretty big anything. Oh, that is simplicity itself. Just touch the self-destruct switch. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Big Bad Wolf. Oh, pardon me. I mean, Mr. Big Good Wolf. Hey, everybody. Look. Now, Dasher. Now, Dancer. Now, Prancer and Vixen. Run, Comet. Comet, Comet. Oh, there you are. Run, Comet. Run, Cupid. Run, Thunder and Vixen. And now, thank goodness. Straightened out. Oh, thank goodness indeed. And you know what? I think I'm going to like goodness better than I liked badness. But you know, I don't think anybody can say that for sure, unless he's tried both. Anyway, Merry Christmas, everyone!